When I was a little girl, I went to Hebrew school. It was a reform synagogue, and we studied the Holocaust. And you know, I was very upset. I remember asking my father, why? Why did the Germans do what they did? He said they were anti-Semitic, they hated Jews, and I accepted his answer and moved on with my life. But it never resonated with me because in a court of law, for example, there has to be a motive for a crime. If you kill someone, there has to be a motive. Why did they do it? There's always a reason. The fact of the matter is, is that the truth is hidden. Um, if you want to know the truth, look up Benjamin Friedman, 1961 speech, explains the situation. It's very important to know because what happened in 1930s Germany is happening again now. Here's a brief summary. World War I was from 1914 to 1918. In 1916, Germany was totally winning and England was considering a surrender. However, Zionist Jews went to England and said, don't surrender, you can still win. If we bring the Americans into the war and you promise us Palestine, you'll win the war. They had no right to give them Palestine, but that's what happened. And so 100,000, over 100,000 Americans were killed, over 200,000 Americans injured because of this deal. But that's what happened and Germany lost. Not only did Germany lose the war, they had to sign the Treaty of Versailles, which was a very unfair uh, reparations agreement and it crippled the German economy. But when the Germans found out that the Zionists went behind their back, their own countrymen went behind their back and made this deal with England to bring the United States in the war, they were understandably very upset. Friedman makes the analogy and this is exactly what it would be like. Imagine America, we're at war with Russia and we're winning. And the Chinese in this country, in America, make a secret deal to have the Chinese help Russia and then we lose the war. How would the Americans, how would we feel about the Chinese living in this country? Obviously this didn't happen, this is just an analogy. And that's exactly how Germans felt about Jews in 1920s Germany. However, they didn't harm them, but that's just how they felt. So after World War I, Germany was suffering terribly. So of course, they're not going to be very welcoming of Jewish people there. Like I think they got lost government jobs, and we hear these stories from the Jewish perspective, but we never hear it from the German perspective. So the Jews of the world had a meeting. And long story short, they told Germany, you have to treat the German Jews like everyone else. And Germany was like, no. Again, think about how we as Americans would feel about Chinese here if they went behind our backs and helped an enemy to defeat us and destroy our economy. So in 1933, Germany, the Jews of the world, the world Jewry, declared economic war on Germany. So the leader of Germany in the 1930s, his initials are AH, he did not initially want to Jewish people and the Germans too, they just wanted them to leave. And that's exactly what the Zionists wanted. So they worked together and there's even a coin symbolizing this uh, called the Havari Agreement and they helped German Jews and their belongings move to Palestine. But here's a question I did not understand even as a little girl. If the people who had the power to, to get Palestine had the kind of money and power to do that, didn't they have the money and power to stop what was happening to the Jews during World War II, right? And it was because they, the Zionists were completely focused on establishing Israel. They didn't they didn't care about what was happening to the Jews in the concentration camps. So fast forward to 2023 and we are witnessing the horrific bombing of Gaza. And understandably, people are speaking out. They're protesting, they're posting on social media. And here in the States, what's happening to them? They are being fired. So in the exact same way, Zionists lit a fire in Germany to get the German Jews to go to Palestine, the Zionists are doing the same exact thing in the United States right now. Zionists do not care about the Jewish people. The whole goal of World War I and World War II was to create Israel and destroy strong sovereign nations like Germany, Italy, and Japan and create a one world government. And their goal is to take down the American economy and we need more Jewish people to speak out. That's why I'm making these videos. We've been lied to about our history. You need to relearn everything and speak out because of the way that they look at the Gentiles. And if you read the Talmud, you'll know what I'm talking about. Jews have to speak out en masse. It's the only thing that's going to stop this.